don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are here with Vlogmas Day 3. And I got Miss Navy Rose here with me today. Say hello, baby girl. Hello. Oh, it's a big yawn. Yeah. You're on camera today, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to just do a Christmas bucket list video for you guys. I used to... <laughs> what? Are you, what? What's over there? I used to do a seasonal bucket list every year. I haven't really done any this year just because of everything going on and because of my pregnancy, I wasn't really able to do much but lie in bed the entire time. But we're here the last month of the year. I can't believe we're already in the last month of 2020. It's been, it's been like the longest slash quickest year ever. Does anybody else feel that way? Like it's, it seems like it's gone on forever yet it went by so fast, if that makes sense. But I do have a few things for my Christmas bucket list and I wanted to share it with you guys and maybe you wanted to add it to your Christmas bucket list or maybe you've never really done a seasonal bucket list and this can just kind of give you an idea of things to do this December. We do live in Texas, so there's like no snow or ice here. We would love to add those type of things like snow or ice related to my bucket list, but we're just not gonna have that here. But if you do, feel free to kind of comment down below what your Christmas bucket list things are for this year. And maybe you can give other people ideas or even me some ideas that maybe I didn't mention that I could add to my own list. But one of the things that I really want to do this year is make like a bougie hot chocolate. Are you going to start being cranky now that we're filming? That's, that's, that is not allowed, ma'am. You've been in a good mood. So every year we make hot chocolate, but it's just a simple like chocolate powder with some hot milk and then, you know, a few marshmallows on top and that's pretty much it. But this year I really want to go all out. Like I want some Pinterest worthy hot chocolate. I've seen like hot chocolate charcuterie boards. I would love to recreate that and make one for us or just, you know, a bougie hot chocolate. I want something that, you know, I'll probably never make again the rest of the year because it took so long type of hot chocolate. You know what I'm saying? I just think it would be festive. I have the time to do it, you know? I just wanna take a really pretty hot chocolate picture and I want to feel like I can't even drink it because there's so much going on in the cup and it's all gonna just fall out onto my face when I try to drink it, but Memories, okay, I love that, that's what I want. Next is, I wanna make something DIY. I want to make some DIY Christmas gifts this year. I used to do it a lot back in the day when I didn't really have the money to go and buy gifts, but really, you know, I still see those people using those gifts today even though they're years old or they're still on display. Like, I love DIYing things, whether it be for myself or for other people. And I really want to just, since again, I have the time, whereas after a while, I just didn't have the time with work and things like that. But now I do have the time and I think it would be really fun to make Christmas gifts with my son. And I know Navy is only almost two months old, but not quite. We're like a month and a half old, you know, just including her in that. I mean, I know like she won't remember it, but it's just something that I can do with my kids and I think it would be really fun. You know, my son is eight years old. Having him make gifts for people I think would be just super sweet and fun. Next thing is I really do want to bake this year with my son. He has been asking me over and over if we could make Christmas candy and cookies this year. We didn't last year. We just had so much going on. And we also did take a cruise last year for Christmas that was kind of our thing last year but he's asked me can we please make Christmas candy so I really want to try making new desserts that we've never really made before and then um, cookies later on as well I do want to kind of make plates for other people I've never really made enough chocolate or Christmas candy to give out to other people. So I'd love to be able to do that this year. My son really loves to bake and cook with me. We love watching cooking shows together 
or like baking competitions. We're really into that sort of stuff. And when he's older, he did say that he wanted to be on um, Chopped Junior. If you watch Food Network, then you definitely know what that is. But he's really into that sort of thing. So I do want to take what he wants to do this year into consideration. Plus my husband has a major sweet tooth. So going in and making a bunch of different desserts and cookies and things like that, I know he'll really appreciate that as well. The next thing I want to do might seem crazy to some people, but I really want to do it this year. I want to learn how to wrap gifts. You know, there's wrapping gifts and then there's those people who wrap gifts so perfectly that you don't even want to open the gift because it's so beautifully wrapped. My cousin is one of those people. I don't know how she does it, but the way she, even in the bags, like the way she does her tissue paper when she bags gifts is unreal to me it's so beautiful and just gorgeous looking it's and I want that underneath the tree that I worked really hard to decorate so I want to like watch some YouTube videos on how to wrap gifts and I want to be able to wrap gifts like that basically what I'm saying is I envy my cousin and I want someone on Christmas Day to compliment my wrapping skills the way I'm in awe of my cousin's wrapping skills Next is something that I'm already doing. I wanted to host a Christmas giveaway. If you have not watched my Vlogmas Day 1 video, that is the rules on how to enter the Christmas giveaway. I really wanted to give this year. It's not something that I've ever done before and it's something that I really wanted to participate in. So I am hosting a Christmas giveaway. Again, I will link that video down in the description box below so you can enter if you haven't entered already. The next thing I actually already accomplished, it is holiday nails. Can I have my finger? Can I have it? No, she's, <laughs> she's holding my finger, but oh, hello, hello little wolf. Hello. If you watched Vlogmas Day 2, you saw that I got my nails done. I've never really gotten holiday nails and it was just something that I wanted to do to pamper myself and I'm kind of in love with them. I'm sure I'll have to get them done again before Christmas time. So I do actually already have a nail print in my phone that I want to do for the next round. Next is something pretty basic. I want to create a Christmas playlist. Can you lay down? The dogs keep walking around. But I do wanna create a Christmas playlist and then go drive around looking at Christmas lights. That's something we do every year is drive around and look at Christmas lights. But I've never had a Christmas playlist. I've always kind of listened to the same thing. And that's by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. That's like the only song that I really listen to during Christmas time. I've never been a Christmas music person, but I think if I find the right tunes by the right people, then it's something that I could get into. So I do want to take the time to just create a Christmas playlist. And I want to take our bougie hot chocolate and sit in the car and drive around and look at Christmas lights. The next thing I want to do is get matching Christmas pajamas. We did it one year and I absolutely loved it. We spent Christmas Eve with my mom's parents and before we all opened gifts, me and my family walked out in our matching Christmas PJs and I loved it. Everybody else thought it was super cute and now we have a new member of our family. So I really want to get matching pajamas this year. Next on my list is something that I really truly want to accomplish and that is reading two books. If you watch me on my old channel, I did talk about books a lot. Reading was something I absolutely loved and I read a lot in 2019 and it was my plan for 2020 to double that. I think I read 26 books in 2019. And that was just from summer to the end of the year because I didn't really read in the beginning of the year, but I read 26 books in like the last six months. And I was like, think if I could read through the whole year, how many books I could read. So I wanted to double that amount. And then 2020 hit and I haven't read at all. And it's depressing me because I have so many new books that I haven't touched. And that was always something that really made me happy and de-stressed me a little bit. So I really want to find it in myself to pick up a book in December and read it. And I would love to at least read two of the books that I got from last Christmas. I asked for a lot of books last Christmas and I haven't even touched them. And I mean, it's heartbreaking that I couldn't find it in me to read a book during this entire pandemic, but it's just something that I really want to accomplish in December. Next on my list is to start a new tradition. I think I have an idea of what I want that to be, 
but I haven't 100% settled on it yet. I think I want to start making like a nice huge Christmas brunch for every Christmas morning. That's kind of the tradition I'm leaning towards right now. We do the reading the night before Christmas, each night on Christmas Eve. That was always something I really loved with my family growing up. We would always you know, sit in the same chair or whatever as my dad and we would all snuggle up and my dad would read it to us and I, I loved that. And so I do try to implement that with my own children, but I just want something new that I didn't grow up having and that we've never done and I want to make it our tradition. So I'm thinking Christmas brunch, you know, early in the morning, I wanna get up before everybody else and make a huge breakfast. That way we can do that and open gifts and then just, just something new. But at the same time, I'm concerned, like, do I really want to get up and make a big breakfast every year? Like I want a tradition that I know that I'm going to stick with. So I'm like contemplating what it is I'm going to do. Let me know down in the comment section below. What are some of your family Christmas traditions? It might can give me an idea of what to go for. I might steal one of your traditions if that's okay, but I'm, I'm just not quite sure what I want to do. That's what I'm leaning for, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I really want a Christmas tradition that is ours and that maybe our children will take on and do with their children in the future. So let me know some suggestions down below. This next one we've actually never done before. Kale has been begging me. Again, I mentioned that in my last video, he really wanted to build a gingerbread house. I'm really excited to do it. I've I don't even know where to start on that. I don't know how easy or hard it's gonna be. I would love to be able to make one homemade. I'm obviously not there yet because I don't even know where to start. So we're gonna start with the already made kit, but I'm excited to do that this year and to see my son's face when I pull it out and show him what we're going to be doing. Next, I wanna complete Vlogmas. Never done Vlogmas before, didn't do it on my old channel. I'm doing it now and I wanna make it through. Last but not least, I'm also really excited for this one. I've never done it before. I want to have an all day Christmas movie marathon with my family. I mean, from the minute we wake up to the minute we go to sleep, I want to either just order food all day or we can all make food together for each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, cook together but I want to watch Christmas movies all day. I don't wanna to have to worry about a thing. I don't even really wanna brush my teeth if I'm being honest. I don't wanna get out of my pajamas. I don't wanna have a care in the world. I wanna turn off our phones and like social medias. I don't wanna tune into the world that day and I just want to sit by our little fire and our table stand. I might even want to build a fort. I think that would be amazing if we could figure out how to build the fort, put a bunch of pillows underneath it and make some good food or whatever or order takeout and just sit and watch movies that I grew up watching, the new Christmas movies out. I think that would just be so much fun and I know Kale would love it. But just not having to worry about anything just sounds amazing and I've always wanted to have an all day movie marathon and I've never done it. I always say that I'm going to and then I never do because I feel like as a mom, I need to get something done, whether it be clean the house or run errands or whatever, just something always needs to be done. But I literally just want to sit in the house, snuggled up with my husband and my kids, the dogs, and I just want to be tuned in to the screen the entire day. <laughs> So that is it for my Christmas bucket list 2020. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what's on your Christmas bucket list this year if you have one or if you plan on doing one this year. Give me some suggestions of Christmas traditions. Maybe some of your favorite Christmas songs. I would love ideas because like I said, I've never done a Christmas playlist. So let me know who your favorite singers are or your favorite Christmas songs. So maybe I could add it to our playlist. Just really wanna get to know you guys and communicate with you on the comment section to see what you guys love doing during this holiday season, what you're really into. Did your plans drastically change because of the whole pandemic? Like, let me know what's going on in your lives. I would love to hear from you. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. Oh, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Here come the dogs. They are so, this one right here.
I don't know if you can see him. Little wolf. She okay? Yeah. <laughs> no kissing on the face. I've never really talked about it, but the dogs have been really, really great with the new baby. I was a little concerned just because they are huge dogs and, you know, we've never really had a baby baby in the house, but they've really just have loved her and have done amazing with her. So I'm just really proud of my pups. Yes, I am. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm going to go lay her down and get some cleaning done. So 